Welcome to subtraction with decimals. It's the same thing as subtraction with whole numbers, except for now we have to worry about the decimal and decimal placement. You can go right ahead and bring down the decimal if that's easier for you to remember. So again, we start in the tenths place. So 5 minus 7, we can do that. We have to borrow from the 9, make that an 8, put the five, 1 right there. 15 minus 7 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. And 8 minus 5 is 3. So we come over here, we have 7 minus 9, we can't do that, so we have to borrow from the 8, make that a 7, make that 17, and 17 minus 9 is 8, bring down the decimal point, very important, 7 minus 2 is 5. Over here we have 5 minus 9, we have to get rid of that, make that a 0, make the 15, 15 minus 9 is 6, 0 minus 2, can't do that, have to borrow. And since this is a 0, we have nothing to borrow from, so we have to borrow from the 7, make that a 6, make that a 10, but then again cross it out again, make it a 9, and make that a 10. We had to keep on borrowing it as far as we can, all the way down to where it's needed. So 10 minus 2 is 8, bring down the decimal point, 9 minus 8 is 1, and 6 minus 1 is 5. Over here we have 9 minus 2 is 7, 8 minus 9, we have to borrow from the 4, make that a 3. Make that 18. 18 minus 9 is 9. Bring down the decimal point. 3 minus 4. We have to borrow from way over to the 6. Make that a 5. This is going to be 10. Put it to cross out again and make it a 9. Make that a 10. Cross it out. Make it a 9. Make that 13. 13 minus 4 is. 9. 9 minus 3 is 6. 9 minus 5 is 4. And 5 minus 1 is 4. And there's our answer. Over here we have 7 minus 8. Have to go all the way to the 2. Make that a 1. Give it to the 10. Cross it out. Make it a 9. Give it 17. And that's going to be 9. 9 minus 1 is 8, bring down the decimal point, and 1 minus 0 is 1. So over here, we can just add in a little decimal point, just pretend it's there, and add in a 0 as a placeholder, just so you don't get confused. So 0 minus 9, can't do that, borrow from the 3, make it a 2, make that a 10. 10 minus 9 is 1. Bring down the decimal point. 2 minus 2 is 0. And bring down the 5. Over here, we're going to put in two 0 placement holders. A 0 minus 7, we have to come all the way to the 5, make it a 4, make that a 10, cross it out, make it a 9, and make that a 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. 9 minus 7 is 3, oh, 2. Bring down the decimal point. 4 minus 4 is 0, and bring down a 3. So over here, we have to know our decimal points. Just to notice that there's a decimal point right there. So we are going to put in two imaginary decimal places right over here, just so you don't get confused. And there's a decimal point right there. So we have 0 minus 6. We have to borrow all the way from this 8 and make it a 7. We can go right ahead and make that a 9 because we know it's going to be a 9 and make that a 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. We have 9 minus 3 is 
six, put the decimal point, and then seven minus zero is seven, and one minus zero is one, because there's nothing before the decimal point. Over here we have five minus nine, we have to borrow from the one, make it a zero, make that a fifteen. Fifteen minus nine is six. Zero minus nine, we have to borrow from the eight, make that a seven, make that a ten. So ten minus nine is one, we have the decimal points, add that in. And then seven minus two is five. Now over here, we have only one decimal place, and then now we have two decimal points. So we need to add an imaginary zero. So zero minus eight, we have to borrow from the five, make it a four, make that a 10. 10 minus eight is two. Four minus zero is four. Put the decimal point. We have seven minus four, we have to borrow from the eight, make that a seven make that a 9, and we can make that a 12. So 12 minus 4 is 8. 9 minus 6 is 3. And 7 minus 3 is 4. There we go. And that's all I have for subtraction with decimals.